Hey guys, welcome back to The Crafty Home. Today I am going to work on a gift basket. A friend of mine asked me if I could help her with a gift basket for her son's girlfriend. She's turning 16. She gave me a couple of ideas of what she likes. For example, her favorite colors are blue and white and she plays volleyball. Obviously she's 16, so she's about to get her license. So um, these are just some things that I know about her so that I can help do kind of a personalized gift, something that I know she'll really like. So I'm going to take you along with me to show you exactly what I'm doing for her and um, how the basket comes together. I'll talk about what exactly I'm putting in there. I hope you like this video. If you do, please leave it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this from me. Okay guys, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do for this project is make her some monograms. I have a couple of things that I got her and I want to add vinyl monogram to it. So I am going into a program called Silhouette Studio. It belongs to a cutting machine that I have. And right now I'm just making her two different monograms with two different styles for both the different gifts. This is the water bottle I found for her. It's this pretty powder blue. The first thing I want to do is measure to see how big I want the monogram. So that is what I'm doing here. It looks like two and a half inches will be the perfect size. The next thing I got her was this jewelry box. It has a marble finish, but it's blue and mirrored. So I'm measuring it also to see what size I want that monogram to be. Once I have the measurements and the style that I want to cut, I'm just making a couple of different monograms because I'm going to cut them out of two different types of vinyl. I'm just not sure which ones I want to use, so I'm putting them on different parts of my program and I will put the vinyl on different parts of my mat. And I'll show you that in just a minute. With the white vinyl cut to size, I am now adding it to my mat. Since my mat is old, it doesn't have a lot of stickiness to it anymore, so I do have to tape it down. The next thing I'll do is measure out the printed vinyl that I'm going to use. This paper cutter that I got from the craft store has been a real lifesaver for me when working with vinyl. It makes it so that I can measure out exactly what I need and waste less vinyl. Here you can see how I laid out the vinyl and how it will line up for being cut. Now that the vinyl is cut, it is time to weed. That is a term that they use when you take the negative space that you are not intending for your project and pull it away from the piece you cut. Now that our monograms are ready, I am going to cut some transfer tape. This is a sticky material that you use to grab the monogram from the backing that the vinyl came on. And this is how you transfer it to the piece you want it to be on. So here I'm just taking what looks like a credit card and I'm burnishing the vinyl in order to attach it to the carrier sheet. And I'm gonna take it and put it on my piece.
Now comes the really fun part, putting the basket together. I got this basket and inside of it is a faux fur throw blanket. It is so soft. I thought this was perfect for her. I'm gonna add in the jewelry box and then the bottle. Next, I'm gonna add some ribbon to a couple of things that I got her. This is a keychain with her first initial. I thought that this was a really great gift for someone turning 16. So I'm just adding a little bit of blue and white since that's her favorite color with this ribbon. This will also serve to help keep the keychain in place when I put it in the basket. So it has double benefit. Next up is this really cute volleyball bracelet I got her. It's in the style of Alex and Ani, and I just thought this was so cute for a 16 year old. I'm gonna go ahead and add some ribbon to this too, just to dress it up a little, and also to keep the bracelet in place when I put it in the basket. I swear Whiskers has to be in every single video. He cracks me up. Next, I'm adding these marble earbuds I found for her. I thought that they were so stylish and pretty. When I make baskets, I generally like to stick to a color scheme. So this really went with the blue and whites that I was looking for. It often takes a little bit of playing around with where things should go to find a perfect spot for everything so that you can see it all and it still looks pretty. So that's what I'm doing here. I always just play around with it and see what's the best fit. And here is the finished basket. I really love the way this turned out and I think it's a great gift for somebody turning 16. It's things she can use for years to come and things that should feel very personal for her. Okay guys, that was it for how I made the gift basket. I hope you liked that. Um, if you did, please leave it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.